All right, we got a question about pitching velocity today uh, from Indy Nova. He says, would 10 to 12 mile an hour be an attainable uh, goal, I guess, for an 11 year old in a three to four month off season routine? All right, first of all, I don't know uh, which 11 year old we're talking about, so I can't say for sure. Um, is that possible for an 11 year old to gain uh, 10 to 12 miles in three to four months? Yes, it's, it's possible. I don't know your 11 year old or which 11 year old you're talking about. So I can't tell you if the guy, if the guy has uh, great mechanics already, and he's already moving well down the mound, uh, probably not. But if he's uh, just getting into baseball and he's kind of raw um, and he can, and, and he can figure some things out, then yeah, absolutely. It's a possibility. I don't, however, think at this age is something that you want to, um, kind of grind after, meaning I don't want you to take three three to four months uh, bust an 11-year-old's butt to try to throw 10 to mile, 12 mile an hour faster. These guys are kids, right? Even if they're on a competitive team, right? Even if they're on a competitive uh, baseball team, uh, that's not how we want to approach it at this age. We want to uh, let them have fun, right? We want the game to be fun for them. Now, obviously, if they're, if they're willing and it's fun for them to put in the work, then we can guide them uh, through the path and and uh, help them have fun and, and get better. Um, but we don't want to, we don't want to grind them out three to four months trying to gain 10 to 12 mile an hour. You know what I'm saying? It's a little bit different when you get to, uh, high school and definitely college and pro baseball, uh, pro baseball, it becomes your job and you have to figure it out. You got to grind it out and you got to set goals and you got to make it happen. Same thing with, uh, college, um, and high school baseball. But for an 11 year old, um, you know, let's work on some of the mechanics, um, and if he really wants to do some of the extra stuff, then we can help him with that, right? But we don't want to. We don't really want to uh, set goals to gain 10 to 12 mile an hour in a three month, three to four month off season. And I think that's what you're talking about when you say attainable, because I talk about smart goals uh, a lot of the time, which is uh, it's an acronym. Smart is specific. M is measurable. A is attainable. Uh, R is realistic and T is timely. So if you don't know uh, a SMART goal, and in fact, uh, I saw something the other day about SMARTER goals. Um, and I talked about this a while, but I forgot about it and I saw it again. Um, and I forget what the ER was, but I think E is maybe like ever changing or ever evolving or something. So you're always like trying to uh, recreate your goals, right? And they're not always gonna stay the same. And as you reach them, you gotta reevaluate. And I think that's what the R was. Um, so that that's really good. I'll look it up and leave it up on the side here. But uh, yeah, so it's definitely attainable for some 11 year olds, but I wouldn't force it uh, as a goal on 11 year old, obviously. Uh, but it's good to set goals. It's definitely good to set, set goals. And I don't want to, uh, I'm not trying to throw you under the bus here and make you look bad in Nova. It's a good question. I, I like it. Um, and, you know, and I understand it now because I have a son. Right before, I didn't understand it. I, I used to think, like, man, there's a lot of craziness going on in this game right now. But now when I have a son, a two-and-a-half-year-old, I get it. I get it because I want the best for my son. And sometimes I'm sitting there thinking, like, man, I, I wonder if he's going to play in the major leagues. And I'm like, hold on. What are you, what are you even thinking right now? He's two-and-a-half years old, right? So now I get it. I get it because as parents, we want the best for our kids. And, of course, I would love – for my son to gain 10 to 12 miles an hour all the time. I want him to be the fastest thrower ever. I want him to be the best hitter ever. I want him to be the best at everything he does. Um, so sometimes we kind of have to think about it and check ourselves and remember what, what are we doing here? What's the main thing? What, what are we trying to do for these young players? And, and for me, I think it's give them an avenue to learn something that they're passionate about. If they're passionate about, you know, that's one thing. We don't want to be forcing them to do something they're not passionate about. Find what they're passionate about. Hopefully it's baseball. My, I'm speaking about my case now as a two and a half year old, uh, with a two and a half year old. I hope it's baseball. Um, find that avenue to, to let them have fun through this game. Teach them about it. Challenge him uh, within the game, help him grow and develop while he's having fun. Uh, and just really try to build confidence through the game. I think confidence is the big key. You know, you, we, we've got to teach these young men how to have confidence. And, and 
through a game is a great way to do that. And I'm not just talking about in baseball, I'm talking about in life. We gotta teach them how, how to have confidence in life, right? Because there's a lot of stuff in life that, you know, we need confidence if, as young men, right? A lot of our young men these days I, I, that I see growing up, they don't have a lot of confidence, you know? And I think it's a big issue. And I can tell a huge difference in the young guys around this age, uh, especially who have a lot of confidence and who don't. And it's, 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 it's a huge gap. So I think if we can, we can help them on the field, build the confidence through, through a constructive way, uh, that's the biggest, biggest thing. I, I know I'm off tangent right now, but I, I just want to give you my perspective and get back to like the, the root of it. Um, and again, it's not a, it's not a bad question because maybe your 11 year old is the guy who just started, um, who's raw and could gain 10 to 12 mile an hour. I don't know. Again, I do not know you or, or your 11 year old. So, um, I just offer you that advice to remember what we're trying to do. Yes, we want them to be the best that they can be on the field, but we want to do it in a way that is helping develop them for the long term, uh, have some fun with it, and uh, that builds them confidence without grinding them out or, or overdoing it so they hate the game or hate dad or or hate coach or, or whatever it is. You know what I'm saying? Uh, it's definitely an art. It's definitely an art to it. So I wish you well. I don't know the answer for you. I am so sorry. <laughs> I hope that helps though. Um, thank you so much and uh, I'll talk to you guys in the next video. If you guys have a question, leave a comment down below. I'd love to answer your question on a video here. So talk to you then.